Okay, children of God, this is a word. We need to understand as a church that God cares about only one thing. Only thing God cares about is what's going on in the heart. We might not have known this as a church, or the church might have strayed from teaching this, but it needs to come back because what I'm seeing in the church, um, the Holy Ghost is revealing, the church has forgotten the root. God only cares about what's going on in the heart. Matthew 5, Matthew 15 and verse 8. This people draweth nigh unto me with their mouth and honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. If you meditate on this verse alone, you realize that the Lord is really focusing on our heart. This verse reveals he's not checking at all. He's not checking much for what you say. He's not checking much about what you do with your lips. He's not checking for anything else other than what's going on in your heart. And the church has it backwards. We think God is focusing on what we say and what we do. Matthew 15 and verse 8 reveals to us that that is not so. God is only focusing on our heart. Matthew 5 and verse 27 through 28. Ye have heard that it was said by them of old time, Thou shalt not commit adultery. But this is Jesus in verse 28. Jesus says, I need to reveal to you. Now, now hold it. We got to get a revelation of this. Verse 27 is revealing that uh, you should not commit adultery with your body, what you do. We feel that this is where God focuses on what we say and what we do with our body. Yes, but Jesus can reveal a revelation here. Verse 28, but I say unto you that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her hath committed adultery with her already in his heart. Jesus is saying, listen, I see what you're doing with your body, but I'm more concerned about what you're doing in your heart. Now this is deep because children of God try to receive this revelation. God is about the heart. First, That's where God concern is at. Matthew 5 and 8. Blessed are the pure in heart. Mark 11 and verse 23. For verily I say unto you that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart. What are we learning? God's focus is on our heart. And what are we starting to learn? Our focus should now be on our heart. Leviticus 22 and verse 20. But whosoever hath a blemish, thou shalt not offer, for it shall not be acceptable for you. This is in Leviticus. God told them to offer 
God told his people to offer up lamb. But they started bringing blemish lamb or blemish sheep. And God said, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. If you bring me blemish sheep, it will not be acceptable. You know why, child of God? Because the heart. It's good to honor God with your lips. But it will not be acceptable if your heart is not right. See, we know what God wants. God's saying, listen, it's good to not commit adultery. Physically, in, the, in your body. But I'm looking and making sure you need to make sure too that you don't do it in your heart. Because that's where he's focusing on. God's saying, listen, your heart got to be right. It's good, but your heart is where I'm focusing on. And this is deep because newborn again believers in Christ, they're not taught this. A lot of people in church, a lot of God's people have it wrong. We focus on everything other than our heart. And this is why we bring in our blemish lamb and blemish sheep. And God is not accepting it. Because our heart is not right. We focus on getting God lambs. God say no. Focus on your heart. And making sure your heart is right. Then do. Then bring the lamb. Luke 9 and 47, and Jesus perceiving the, the thought of their heart. Jesus ain't checking for what they thinking, you know. He want to know what's going on in their heart. The Bible says, ask Jesus Christ in your heart when you're getting saved. Not in your head, not in your brain, not in your body, in your heart. It's about the heart, children of God. The Holy Ghost, I asked the Holy Ghost after the Holy Ghost brought this to my attention. I say, how did our hearts get like this, Holy Ghost? And this is what he gave me. You don't have to accept this or not. He said, listen, we as children of God, he's noticing that we're living around people who are sinning to the bone. Not really heathens, cousins, family, friends. They're around us, church people, people on the job. God revealed, the Holy Ghost revealed to me. God revealed to me through the Holy Ghost. We have to be around these kind of people. And they, and we see in them with our eyes. We see in and we hear in them sinning. And years have gone and nothing has happened to them. The Lord revealed to me that a lot of his people has noticed that these people who sin into the bone... They have nice house. They have no debt. They're very educated. They have nice cars. They're very rich. They got their own business. They're millionaires. They're prospering. A lot of them are healthy. They got good teeth in their mouth. They got good dental plan cares. They got good insurance. They're doing well. And they sin into the bone. And the Holy Ghost revealed to me. And God's people have seen this. And so indirectly they were persuaded to to get in sin. And they started living sinful too. And guess what? Nothing bad happened to them either. And the Holy Ghost revealed to me that's why they stay in sin. And it's been many years they have living, they are sinning to the bone. And the Holy Ghost revealed to me, that's how Satan killed some of God's people. He catches them just like that.
And that's what the Lord revealed to me. Why the hearts of his people has gone far from him. Matthew 15 and verse 8 once again. This people draweth unto me, nigh unto me with their mouth, and honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. You know what I see, children of God? I see children of God. They run to hold hands and pray. They run to quote scriptures from the Bible. They run to talk about Jesus. They run to walk around with a Bible in their hands. They run to wear shirts that says, Jesus Christ is Lord. But I watch a lot of God's people. Right after. They go outside and start smoking a cigarette. Right after. They start talking to each other. And all kind of swearing words coming out of their mouths. F this. A this. And I look at them and I say, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You just come out the presence of the Lord and you swearing like that? You just finished reading your Bible. You just finished praying. And you going to sit down and watch that movie with all that cursing in it for the next two, three hours? Something wrong. And you see, children of God, when you do it like that, your heart is far from the Lord. Listen, children of God, you need to hear this. God is not impressed. Because you're walking around with a Bible in your hand every day. God is not impressed. Because you're on the pulpit and you could preach for an hour. God is not impressed because I had some people come to me and say, Oh, you look like a pastor. God is not impressed because you look like a pastor. God, for the women, God is not impressed with you because you dress modest and you come to church in long skirt and you cover up your chest. God is not impressed with that. God's not impressed because every time you eat, you pray over the food. Get this revelation, child of God. God is not impressed because you could speak in dogs. God's not impressed because you could quote scriptures from the Bible. God's not impressed because you could pray longer than everybody. God's not impressed because you could lead prayers and worship. God's not impressed because you post in scriptures on social media every day. I went to church and I see some people running around in the church praising God. God's not impressed because you're running around the church praising Him. And this revelation is going to blow the minds of some of God's people because some of God's people looking at me and shaking their heads like, how you could say God ain't impressed with all of that. I could say it because I got this revelation. God is about the heart.
God's not impressed because you got the title pastor. God's not impressed because you, you got the title deacon and minister. God's not impressed because you're on the pulpit. God's not impressed because you do your your 14 day, 21 day water fast. God's not impressed because you lay hands on people who needed prayers. God's not impressed because you go on the church three times a week. God's not impressed because you're actively involved in your church. God's not impressed with these things, child of God. I just gave you more than enough scriptures before I came here. God's impressed when your heart is right with him. Let me seal this. Let me seal this word for God's people here. First Samuel 16 and 7. But the Lord said unto Samuel, Prophet Samuel, look not on his conscience. Stop focusing. This is the word for God's people. Stop focusing on what people do in. Stop focusing on what people saying. Stop looking at these things. God say, look not on his continents. Or the height of his stature. Because I have refused him. We got to get back to judging the way God is judged. Somebody say, how do we do that? By looking at the heart. Judge one another from the heart. Don't judge me and say, oh, I like Mr. Pastor because he's pray good and he's upload prayers and he got, the, he got one of the best prayers because he's this and he's that. Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. Judge me from my heart. Not because I got wearing a shirt with a collar. Not because I look like a pastor. No, 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 child of God. Get this word. Don't, I don't want you judging me like that. I don't want you looking at me like that. I want you to look into my heart. You got to love the Lord. God ain't impressed with all of those things you, you do it. It blew your mind. God ain't impressed. God said, I refuse him. And you know why God said that? Because God, he, he, he looking at the heart. I refuse him because his heart is not where it's supposed to be. And that's what I like about the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost gets past all of this glasses and skin color and hair and clothes. The Holy Ghost gets past all of that and goes straight into the heart. We as children of God, we have to learn to go into the hearts of, of people. Focus on your heart. I continue in 1 Samuel 16 and 7. The Lord said, for the Lord seeth not as man seeth. You see all those things I say God was in the press with? How could I have said that? Because th this verse is telling me God don't see the way man see. Let me tell you why. Because God looks into the heart. Somebody said, well, how I could see into the heart if I'm not God is because you're born again. You have the Holy Ghost and God could reveal to you the hearts of people through the Holy Ghost. And that's how you could know.
For man looketh on the outward appearance, which is true. How many of you all in church now watching how people is preach? You impressed because of how they is pray. You impressed because of how how much scriptures they is they could quote. You impressed with the way they is dressed. You impressed with all of these they speak in tongues. You impressed with all of these things these people doing. God say, listen, I don't look at that, you know. All that is outward. God, the Lord called that outward. God say, but the Lord looketh on the heart. We can get more deep air. I know a lot of Christians who try to impress me personally because they know I pray and I do a lot of prayers. They try to impress me. They try to pray. They try to pray long. They try to pray like, like, a, like a powerful prayer warrior. They try to speak in tongues for an hour. They, every time they get around me, they want to pray and Talk Jesus trying to impress me. But I got something to say to you, child of God. I got this revelation. I'm not impressed with those things you do it. Because I too looking at the heart now. We gonna get a little deeper. Let me tell you, when I say I focus in on the heart, what does that mean? Or how do how do I do it? While you trying to impress me, but how long you could pray and trying to, every time you get around me, you want to talk Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. While you doing that, thinking I'm impressed with that outward stuff. I busy looking in your heart. I won't see if you were part of anything occultic. I won't see if, if you if you were part of any lodges or Freemasonry things. I won't see if you would sleep with someone just to get a job. I won't see when I loan you $10 if you will pay me back or make a bunch of excuses not to give me the $10 back. Because in your heart, you never had any intentions of paying me back anyway. I won't see if you can tell me the price of something and then turn around and change it and say it's a higher price. I won't see where you was hang up. Let me turn up God is hang up in the club. I won't see if you secretly sleeping around and fornicating and committing adultery behind closed doors. I won't see if you can make a promise and go against that. I won't see. There's a lot of you taking certification examinations. Some, some of them cost 500 or more dollars to take the test. And sometimes everything you have is on passing a certain certification. I won't see if you will cheat on that exam just to pass. I won't see if you can go in the store and steal something and put it in your pocket when no one looking because you, you no one could catch you.
I want to see if you swearing when you talking to people. I want to see when you invite me to dinner at your house. I want to see if any if your cupboards fill up with a bunch of liquor. I want to see while I in your house if you got any idols, any any Buddha statues in your home. I'm looking for these paintings with with bunch of occultic things on it. See, child of God, if you like that, your heart is far from God. If you are all caught up with these religious acts and dressing like pastors and looking like pastor and preaching like pastor and walking around with Bible all day, if you if you caught up with all those religious acts. And doing all those church rituals and going to church or telling everybody you got to go to church again or get involved in the church. If you're getting caught up with all those rituals. But you like this. But you corrupt. But people can't trust you. But you're sleeping around and people know. And even if people don't know. But if you into things of the occult. If you like this child of God, your heart is not right. And I know plenty of children of God. They praise and they doing praise and worship. They preach in. They involve in the church. They quoting scriptures. They holding hands and praying. But a lot of them in the occult. Secretly, a lot of them sleeping around. Secretly, a lot of them cursing and swearing when they talking to people. This is why God is not impressed with what you're doing. The revelation I want children of God to get. You must go back to focusing on the heart. Stop focusing on how people is pray. Stop focusing on who look like a pastor. Stop focusing on getting name in the church. Stop focusing on preaching for an hour. Stop focusing on the rituals and the acts and the appearances. Go back to focusing on Getting your heart right with the Lord. Joel 2 and 13. The Lord says, rent your heart. Not your garments. Once again, God is concerned about your heart. Man is impressed with the outward. Man is impressed when you say, when you lay hands on people. Man is impressed when you, every time you about to eat, you bow your head and pray. Man is impressed with these things. But God say, listen. Your heart ain't right. God saying you need to rent your heart. Not your garment. 